and you're back in Birmingham again next week for Queer Question Time. Tell us a little bit more about Queer Question Time. Well, this is an opportunity for people to come and hear a range of speakers representing different political viewpoints um, with the upcoming general election in mind. Um, it's an opportunity to quiz the panelists about specific LGBTI issues, but also about other issues as well. So, you know, we may be LGBTI people, but we're also affected by the way the economy is working or not working. Um, we're also affected by environmental issues. I mean, the recent statistics about air pollution in our cities is truly, truly shocking. The level of toxic air in cities like Birmingham, London and Manchester, it is literally killing thousands of people every year, yet no politicians have had the guts to introduce the kinds of policies which are needed to stop that. And I think one of the key things is we have to ban cars from central Birmingham, central London, central Manchester and other big cities because that's where the pollution is particularly concentrated. And every day people go out in those cities, they are damaging their health. And every year, several thousand in each of those cities, several thousand people will die long term as a consequence. Okay. From my point of view, I didn't know those statistics. So I think it is great that viewers know that. You know, I don't think it is common knowledge for a lot of people. Uh, so thank you for, uh, for letting us know about, about all of that. It's interesting to, to, to hear that. Uh, last question from me. Who are you going to be voting for in the election and why? Personally, um, I think the Green Party has the best policies on LGBTI issues and has had for a long, long time. Um, I remember way back in the 1980s, the Green Party was not only supporting LGBTI equality, but was saying that LGBTI people make a positive contribution to society, that they enrich our culture, and that they are not just a valued part of our society, but an important part of our society. And right now, on a range of issues, uh, the Greens, I think, do have the best policies. Not to say that other parties don't have some good policies, but I think the Greens do really top it. Thank you ever so much, Peter. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.